And he is my best friend. He's definitely my favorite dog I've ever owned. He's the most special to me. He takes his job of protecting me very seriously. And hi, honey. You want your treat? Yeah. I love you too. Hey, what's up? It's Kitty Bang. Welcome to or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome to our family. If you're not, thanks so much for being a part of my family. It's been a minute since I've posted. And honestly, my excuse is this has probably been the most excruciatingly painful couple months of my life. And I haven't wanted to make this video because one, I don't want to know that it's real and I'm living in denial. And two, I feel like it brings up a lot of stuff. So, yeah, but I haven't posted because I feel like without making this video, I can't post because it's not fitting to just be posting and be everywhere and not really bring it up. I had to put my best friend down and it's really hard to talk about and I thought I'd do a little video remembering him. He was my servant's dog and he was my best friend in the whole world and I've tried to film this video multiple times but every time I try to film it, I end up a mess. They say that grief is the price you pay for love. And although making it through the day seems like an unfathomable task to do without you, I know how lucky I am to have experienced something so amazing that it hurts so much to lose. Dear Oxford Parker, thank you for everything. I got you when I was 12 and my life up until then was rocky to say the least. But the day you came into my life, it was less against the world. You defined for me what loyalty, love, and being a best friend meant. You never allowed me to feel alone, even as... We were saying our final goodbye. You stayed strong and true to yourself and still kissed my tears away. You were by my side through it all. Every plane ride, every road trip, all of my birthdays, all of my breakups, and you watched me fall in love this last time. I knew we were going to have to say goodbye at some point, but I always warned everyone that I wasn't going to be okay. But no one warned me how excruciatingly painful losing my best friend is. Or told me that this is going to be the one thing that I'm not capable of cowering through. There were so many times I struggled, but I had no option but to stay strong and work harder so I could get you a bigger backyard, better food, and anything that would start to tackle the task of paying you back for everything you gave me, even though that was an impossible task because everything you gave me was invaluable. I knew I wasn't gonna be okay putting Oxer down. He was my rock through it all, and I think the thing that I didn't know about was having a service dog when you're young and just becoming a teenager and having that dog be your whole world is something that is just like the most magical, beautiful thing ever. But being that I struggle really hard with anxiety and sometimes I don't know if I want to be here and telling myself every day that Ox is around that I'm his whole world, and he knows that his job is to make me happy, and I have to stay strong so that he doesn't feel like he failed his job. That kept me around, and that kept me fighting, and that kept me making every day a good day. And then losing him, it really felt like I lost my why when it came to my work, and when it came to like my family and everything. And I didn't know. I've never felt a pain that I wasn't capable of powering through. Working is how I cope. And I genuinely like haven't been able to power through this. And now obviously I'm working. <laughs> I swear I'm still working, but every single time I'm alone, I break down. And it's been over a month and I feel like everything good is missing from the world right now. And I have questioned so much my reasoning for being here and what. And I just struggled with doing life without Oxer. But I think the thing that's so beautiful in all of this is that. I had something that was so amazing and Oxer gave me so much love and so much loyalty 
that it hurts this much to lose it. And I feel like the saying, like, you don't know what you have until it's gone, is really true, because, like, I knew what I had. I, I knew it, but losing it and feeling that absence of the most wonderful thing you've ever experienced is something you can't appreciate until it's gone. I know Oxford would want me to be happy, and he did his job for his whole entire life. But with that being said, I have fought every day to find a reason to be here, and to find a reason to be happy. And a lot of my life right now is finding happiness in the 15 seconds of the day that I'm laughing with nature. Or in the dance parties I have with my sister. We're talking on the phone with my dad. Or playing with the puppies. But I just wanted to come on here and say that this was the worst thing that ever happened to me. It's a month and a half later and I'm still not okay. <laughs> and I'm sure one day I'll be okay. But it sure doesn't feel like that now. And I want to get back to posting again. But I feel like I can't post until this video is up. And I sure do miss my best friend. Lucky as heck to have experienced all the wonderful things I did. But boy, it hurts like heck to lose them and to lose Oxer. And he was the best dog. I always remember him eating cat food and I remember when I met Major, the first time we met, we did, we did a photo shoot and Oxen posed for everything so perfectly because he would pose for everything with a ball, <laughs> if you had a ball in your hand. And he really was my boy and my protector. And when Major started sleeping over, Oxen was totally potty trained, but he pooped in the house every single night Major was here until Major started playing fetch with him. I'm a dog trainer, so maybe I shouldn't admit that, but I loved him for all of his quirkiness and shit. <laughs> but yeah, so I hope to go back to posting normally. Life just really sucks right now, and I miss Oxford, but I hope you all are doing well.